It is 443 here on your Wednesday morning as we continue to track tropical storm Helene as of the 4 a.m. advisory. Still not a hurricane, but it is slowly organizing this morning. It's right near Cancun and Cozumel still moving northwest at this hour. However, we do still think it turns north today and into the Gulf of Mexico. It'll go heading up towards Florida. The ridge of high pressure that was sitting over the Gulf of Mexico. It has weakened quite a bit overnight, and so this will allow the storm to start to slowly turn north throughout today, and so you can see that ridge off the coast of the east coast of the United States. This trough of low pressure coming down, so that's why it's going to be turning. The track of this taking it up to hurricane status at some point today, category two later tonight, category three tomorrow, and then making landfall in Florida, probably around the Big Bend or the Tallahassee area by Thursday evening. But the thing with Helene is it's such a giant wind field, or it's got such a giant wind field that the impacts will be felt far away from the center. This storm is going to have an extremely large wind field compared to a normal hurricane here. So you can see anywhere in pink are tropical storm force gusts, yellow are hurricane force, and in the white there are major hurricane force winds. And you can see those staying mainly offshore here west of Tampa, but those tropical storm force winds, that large wind, large wind field producing strong winds across the peninsula tomorrow during the daytime hours. So travel to Florida on Thursday, I would not advise it. Now, Friday's probably going to be okay if you're going into the peninsula here, but travel Thursday tomorrow into Florida, I would not do it. Uh, the winds significant wind threat here as this storm makes landfall tomorrow evening. You can see there in the white there that core of major hurricane force winds moving inland. Tallahassee could get rocked by some significant winds here over 100 miles an hour. And as quickly as Helene's going to be moving as it makes landfall, those 100 plus mile per hour winds may penetrate all the way into portions of southern Georgia. So significant winds there. Now for